Hi there. Welcome to this adventure that we are calling the Bear Hunter. Tonight, we're going to fearlessly hunt the bear. He's a huge creature that lives in a very messy cave. I wonder if we can catch him, tag him, and hopefully relocate him to somewhere where he will not harm others. Let's go outside and see if we can find us a bear. Look at the bear, as he seems to, to warm himself up for his run. He's, he's practicing or running, getting warmed up. Look at him stretch, look at the size of that one. He's a giant. He's jagnanimous. How can he move? I don't know. Let's see how fast he is. Look at the bear as he runs. I don't know if I can hold this speed for too much longer. For being such a big guy, he's really fast. He's like a gazelle. Look at him as he dodges this way and that. Here's my car. Maybe I'll go ahead and get in. This is my driver, Sergeant Lamora. Look as he's fearless in the perils and dangers. He doesn't mind, though. It's all part of the job. Look at the endurance. He's gone a whole 50 meters and only started wheezing a little bit. See if we can hear the wheezing. Shh, be very quiet. Hear the bear wheeze. It's those massive lungs. Wow. Look at those buns. He must really work out. It seems that the bear's gotten lost on his journeys. I wonder how he ended up over here. I better not get too close. He looks a bit touched with anger. <laughs> Look as he searches for the running trail. Obviously, this is not a place he's used to going. If it had been, where's the bench press, he'd have known just where to go. Look how he fumbles with it. Isn't this great? Back hot on pursuit. I'm only about a half a mile away from him. That means I should catch him in no time flat. Obviously, he can't run too fast. It's got to be his immense size. Anyways, here I go. I've got the car all ready, so when they get there, I can just throw them right inside the door. Should be coming pretty soon. Normally catching one of these creatures in their natural environment could be dangerous. But we've got the best, we've got Kipley. He knows every move the bear makes. They should be coming at any time. I'll make it sure to keep my safe distance behind the car in case the bear goes wild. Bear blends in very well at night. There goes Kipley, getting in the perfect spot for the bear. Here comes the bear now! It was good we waited till he got exhausted. That way maybe he won't tear us apart. Here comes Kipley behind him, look at those moves! He's got the bear! Throw him inside! I'm going to. He's a We've big got one. the bear, he's big! Look at Kipley handle him with nothing! Give me the camera quick! Oh! That's a big one! Oh! Oh, let's look at the size of this guy! Oh! Hold on, let me see! Oh! Look at him! We gotta take him and tranquilize him before he goes too wild! I don't know that he needs a tranquilizer with all that PT! Oh! Look at that! He's a beaut! He's about to go into hibernation, he's so tired! Oh, we better get him back quick to relocate him out of this dangerous environment and put him in a safer one, like a chair. We gotta drop the bear off at his bear cave to go poopy. I think with all that excitement, with the relocation process and all, he got a bit excited and he's about to shit himself. Ah! Poopy, watch. He's a bit crabby with that turtle head coming out. All right, let's let him go.
Right now we've decided to look for our next target. He is the elusive Latin lover. He is part Dominican, part Puerto Rican. We have got to find him. His name's Diaza. I've spotted Diaza, the Latin lover, our next target. There he is, standing on gate, obviously trying to lure in another victim. We won't let him know. Obviously down on his knees, ready to please me orally.